Hey y'all, I'm here. Lately, I've been trying to see how little System D I can get away with. Already had OpenRC as my init system, and so far I've managed to also remove eLog D. So, this video is going to be about making your laptop lock the screen and go to sleep when you close the lid, and some future video is going to be about non root XORG both not using any form of login D. So this one relies specifically on ACPD, so you will need that. On Gen 2, it's syspower slash ACPD. On Void, I think it's just already installed. And you'll also need something that provides a suspend command. I'm using S2RAM from syspower slash suspend. I think Void comes with ZZZ already installed and ACPD already set up to use it. And then for the lock screen functionality, you'll also surprisingly need a screen locker. I'm using XLock more, you can use whatever you want. And something that'll let the screen locker run as a normal user from the script that's running as root. So. In my script, I use do as. You can also use sudo. Su might even work. And one extra important thing is that whatever you're using to run it as a normal user has to be set up to let root switch to a normal user without prompting for a password. I think this might be the default on sudo. And do as. I think it's just like permit no pass root in duas.conf. Yeah. So, yeah, that one line just lets root run anything as any user without prompting for a password, which is pretty important for this. So. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that next time eLogND starts up, it's not going to be managing lid close events. Fun though it is to wake up your laptop and have it immediately go back to sleep because whichever demon didn't get there first finally got a chance to put it to sleep. So. You're going to want to, as root, just point an editor to slash etsy slash elognd slash lognd.conf. And if for some reason you're trying to follow along on a systemd-based distro, this path will probably be different because systemd doesn't call their lognd elognd. But also I'm not really sure why you'd be trying to get rid of just this one component and none of the rest of systemd. So once you're in there, look for any line that starts with handle lid switch and either uncomment or like I did copy and uncomment and just set all of those to ignore. So this way, it doesn't matter if it's plugged in or on a dock or what, if it sees any lit event, it's just not going to care. And then just save and quit that, but don't actually try and apply these changes yet unless you're fine with just not letting your laptop sleep when you close the lid until this next part's set up. So on my system, the relevant script is slash etsy slash acp slash lid.sh. This should be normal on Gen 2. If you're on void or some other distro, you might want to poke around this folder a bit, because I know the void docs mention something called handler.sh, so it might be good to check there and see if that's what you should be editing instead. Yeah, and then once you're in there, the scrap line was already there before I touched it. I think it's just making sure that it's not responding to lid open events. Then this script, the environment it runs in doesn't actually have the display variable set, so 
if you want the lock screen to actually work, you'll need to export the display, which will typically be colon zero, but if you're not sure, just control Z if you're in Vim will send it to the back. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work in Nano, so you'll just need to open another terminal and just echo dollar display. And you can see mine is colon zero. Then just sent one to get back to the editor. Then X user, if you only have one user account that's going to be running an X session, you can just hard code that username. If you have multiple, this little one liner gets a process list with PS aux, looks for the first instance of X in it, then grabs the first space separated field, which is the username running it. And then once it's gotten what user is running an X session, I'm using do as, do as dash u. Again, you can do this with sudo the username. And then whatever you're using to lock the screen, you will most likely need to make sure that it backgrounds itself. Because otherwise you're going to close the lid, the screen's going to lock, and it's not actually going to go to sleep until you unlock it. And then after starting and backgrounding the lock screen, just whatever your suspend command is. So again, for me that's S2 RAM. For ZZZ, I think it's just three lowercase z's. You might have to pass like dash lowercase z or something. Yeah, so that is the magic there. And obviously if you just made this file, you're going to want to save before quitting. And then make sure that ACPD is set to run on startup. So for an open RC system, that's RC update add ACPD default unrun it and it's like ln dash s. I say I think like I have it in my notes. I check the void docs slash etsy slash sv slash I'm assuming the service is going to be called ACPD. Then slash var slash service slash. If you're not confident in, if you're not confident that this is symlinking the right thing to the right spot, just add v to make it verbose. Yeah, and for applying the changes, it might be enough to just start ACPD and log out and log back in. I don't remember whether that's enough to restart eLogND as well. If you want to be extra safe, just do a full reboot. So yeah, that's one common functionality of eLogND that you can replace, and at some future point, I'll talk about non-root xorg, which is another. But that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully this helped someone, and have a nice rest of your day.